<coughs> Hi, my name is Fred Koch. I'm the inventor of the ab mat, and what I'd like to do today is to just give you a little demonstration on how to properly use the ab mat. First of all, let me explain to you how the ab mat is designed. It's designed with an arch. The spine is between 30 and 60 degrees. So on one side we have 30 degrees, on the other side we have 60 degrees. It increases the resistance depending on which way we turn the mat when we put it behind our back. Now what I'd like to do is to give you a little demonstration have one of our guys demonstrate how to properly use the mat. All right, we'll start with the 60 degree angle behind your back because that way you're coming up the 30 degrees, which is the easier way. So you put the ab mat behind your back, tuck it in. Now when you lay back over the mat, you'll see Alex's feet are not hooked. Generally, we, the upper and lower bodies weigh about the same, so we can simply not hook the feet here. The first thing we want to learn when we start to use the ab mat is that we have to learn to bend the spine. We have to break the old habits from doing a sit-up or a crunch. So we, stick, we sit with our feet spread apart or close together, depending on the situation. Obviously, with your legs apart, it eliminates a lot of the hip flexors, but it also, in a gym, could cause certain situations about with girls learning to do this. We put our hands between our legs, which now when we do a sit-up, will teach the body to properly roll mat. We have our hands between our legs. Now when you start to roll, your, your body will follow your hands so that you'll learn to bend your spine properly. Now with the use your head, you can either keep your head straight, or a lot of times you could just bend your head and keep it in that position. And again, now you're just rolling up over the mat. This is the easiest way to learn how to use the mat because you're gonna have some weaknesses which we'll go over later what happens. When that becomes too easy, you put your hands over your chest. So now, again, when you come up and you do the same motion and you roll over the mat all the way up. In another video, we've explained how the different parts of this work. Right now, we're just adding resistance to the movement itself. So we roll, put our hands over our chest and we roll up. Once you've learned this, now you can start adding weight. But first, let's take a look at the weaknesses you're going to have. Remember when you start to mo the motion, your, the center part of your abdominals are the strongest. So the beginning part, where the external obliques start the movement, go ahead, the external obliques start the movement, then the abdominals take over, then the internal obliques finish the movement out into the hip flexors. The beginning is going to be the hardest part. So what your body is going to have a tendency to do is when you roll up is to jerk over the first part or when you come back down, you won't fully extend all the way back down. So, you, so when you come back down, you'll stop halfway and come up and you'll see how Alex is doing it. The second mistake you'll make is as you come up, what you'll try to do is you'll start to use momentum at, because the abdominal muscles are really short. So you'll start to use momentum and jump through the lower part of the abdominal area. Okay, so now let's go back. The proper way to do, first we do is we put the arms out, what we learn, and we learn to lock our chin, put our chin up or down, putting it up is probably the easiest way to do it, and now roll up. As that gets easier, put our hands over our chest, and again, roll up. Once you get that motion down and you can do a certain amount of repetitions, now it's time to add weight. When you add weight to the movement, we treat the abdominal muscles like every other muscle. You'll notice now we have a weight, but because we're going to add the weight to the upper part of the body, we have to anchor the feet. 
because now you're changing the balance between the upper and lower part of the body weight. So now we take the weight and put it over our chest. You can hold it. You'll see we can hold it in a number of different ways. You can hold it the way Alex is holding now. You can hold it with your thumbs hooked on the inside of the dumbbells. Now, the weight is not to be used as momentum. Again, it's just it increases the weight of the movement of the abdominals. And again, you're just learning. You're bending the spine and you're coming up. You'll notice the feet are hooked. We use the weight just like we use the weight in anything else. The ab mat is in its proper position behind the back. Now what's gonna happen, as the weight gets heavy, you see your body is gonna to try to find weaknesses. And if I can zoom in a little bit here, you'll see at the top, you'll either start to jerk like you did before or at the bottom, you'll notice the hips. Remember, you're telling your body to move the abdominals or work with the abdominals. Now your hips are going to start to flip back when you start the movement because your abdominals are trying to shorten themselves before they begin the movement. Okay, you, you'll notice how he, his hips will flip back. And what it's doing is the abdominals now are shortening themselves so that they don't have to do so much work because they know that that weight is there. This is the second sheet you'll find. And again, what you'll need to do is just realize that that's a weak link and you have to work through it. So as you increase the weight, you just keep doing your sit-ups with good form, just like any other exercise. Now, if it gets too easy, you can also, a variable is to just turn the mat around so that now the, the higher angle is when you start. So now you're getting more of a stretch in the beginning part of the movement. So again, you can use weight to use it and come up that way. In other videos, what we're going to try to do is we'll do some more advanced movements so that you can do internal and external obliques separately. This is basically, this is basically how we do the abdominal sit-up.